We're reviewing the new navigation manager included in vBulletin 4.2 and above. If you take a look at the articles on vBulletin.com, you'll notice on the left column there's actually a new menu item, vBulletin 4.2. You can click to expand that and then click on Navigation Manager. And within our articles, there's quite a few up, including basic information on how to access the Navigation Manager, how to add a tab, edit a link, edit how to add and edit a navigation menu item, uh, and more. So you can scroll down and then actually go to the second page of that and take a look at all these different articles that explain it with type text and screenshots. I'm going to give you a quick run through in this video just so you can see it in action and then compare it if you need to to the articles and make changes accordingly. Let's go ahead and take a look at our admin control panel and we're going to click settings on the left expand that and then click on navigation manager. First thing you notice is they're in order from top to bottom as they are left to right on the forum. So if we go in here and change the display order of forum to 5 and hit save, well naturally 5 comes before 10 so now when we refresh our forum we see forum is on the left that's how you change the display order. Now let's go ahead and change that back and refresh and there you have it. Now let's say for example you need to add a new tab. You want to link to your shopping cart or you want to link to something else. We're going to click on add tab. We want to give it a title. Shop target URL. If this is a modification, some sort of vBulletin related file that's in the same root directory as your forum, then what you would do is simply enter in cart.php if that is the URL. If it's a different software, anything of that nature, you want to enter in the full URL, such as your url.com slash cart.php display order 50 it auto increments so it knew that 50 was next you're good there set it to active otherwise the tab is not active show permission name you don't need to worry about that now append tab ID to URL you don't need that and tab scripts if this is a V bulletin file from some sort of modification like a shopping cart modification you will want to take a look at that actual file and the this underscore script variable is at the very top of the file you'll need to enter that in here so we know for example activity.php which is part of the what's new now or search.php which shows you search results and highlights the tab there that would be activity by itself you don't have to type in .php no that's the dot is the separator so if we were looking at the activity stream or the what's new tab it would say activity dot search so it knows that the scripts are activity or search and or search rather I'll show you that here in a few seconds we're gonna leave that blank for now then simply click save or again if it under the this script value in the PHP file if it said cart then you would simply enter in cart. We're going to click save. Now we're going to refresh and we have our shopping cart right there. Now where this comes in play if it was a modification of some sort when you click on shop it would still show your same V bulletin header everything have the shopping cart information stuff like that right here however the shop tab would be highlighted and that's what the tab script was for and again you know this is just an example now we're going to go back now that was adding a tab now let's take a look at how to add just a simple link to that tab but we're going to do it under a different one so we see it in action we need to see it on the form so let's just add something to the form tab add link now all we're doing here is adding a simple link like these. We're not adding a menu, but let's 
go ahead and run through this title. Shop 2, target URL. 2.php. Now another thing I wanted to mention, if this is a modification, you're going to want the session, session URL underscore Q, to be present behind that. display order we can leave that 90 as auto incrementing we want it active show permission name and leave that blank for now click save now let's refresh and there is your shop 2 now to add in a actual drop down menu such as the quick links or form actions or community that is different we need to come down here and one thing I wanted to mention real quick is you cannot see all of these um, links and menus within a form tab until after you edit and save it somehow it doesn't matter if you're setting it as the default or just simply editing the file if we go back here and click navigation manager you'll see that's gone now you must actually make some sort of change to it if you want to hit go and then just hit save real quick then it's going to drop down everything and show you all of the links and menu items. So let's go here and click on add menu. Pretty much a very similar process but now we're given the menu item a name. Shop items. We're going to click save. Now until you add something to this menu it will not show because it's empty. The software is, is being smart and saying, hey, we don't have anything in there. We don't need this drop down. So let's go ahead. Item 1. Cart3.php. Active, yes. Save. Now if we look, you have a new menu item with its own link. Now let's refresh the page okay and there you have it click on shop items and item one now let's say you've added a link and you realized oh you know I've created a new menu I want this link to be in that menu now well that's fine I'm going to show you a quick step two steps you can either delete an item if it's no longer required you would go down to delete however you need to notice this message this notice says, are you sure you want to delete the navigation element shop 2? Deleting this will remove access to any sub-elements it currently has. So, for example, if this was a menu, you may want to move the links out of it. You can move it to another section. We don't have any sub-links here, so we're going to go ahead and say yes. Let's delete it. However, if we were deleting something else, such as quick links, for some reason you did not want that there that's perfectly fine you still may want today's post subscribe thread so you would want to move that into another menu item you would click on the link within the menu and click move now you simply click the drop down for the parent menu and choose a new menu to put it under if you want it to be its own item which would be a link within a different tab you can move it to the appropriate tab you don't have to move it under a menu within that same tab if you don't want to so it can become its own independent link within what's new or articles blogs or shop or whatever other uh, tabs you actually have let's go ahead and click form actions save so now when we go and refresh the page and take a look forum actions now has the item there and that's pretty much a quick simple video showing you how to let's see add a new tab then we also have add a new link then you have a community um, type of drop down or form actions any type of menu drop down and then links within that hopefully this is very helpful to some of y'all and enjoy <laughs>